Okay. Okay. Disappointed! What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. All is fair in love and war, the wise man once said. And politics is war. Politics is pain. Politics is deception. And politics is absolute brutality. And so that is what we are going to see in 2024. I just got to gotta make this very, very clear. Take the gloves off. Strip mine the whole place. This is a war zone. This channel is a war zone. We talk about politics, and politics is pain. That is the result of people wanting and lusting after power. And, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people lusting after Kaylee McEnany. Not for that reason. Come on, guys, she's married. What I'm saying is that a lot of people are talking about Kaylee because Trump went ahead and hit the old big nuclear red button on Kaylee McEnany yesterday and went, boom. Uh-oh. Big time whoopsies. Or is it? I don't know. We'll see. We're gonna we're gonna uncover both sides of this debate today. I'll tell you as somebody who personally knows Kaylee, I like Kaylee, but here it is. Politics is pain. This is a dirt, it's a dirty, dirty business. And Donald Trump has blasted now his former press secretary, Kaylee McEnany, as milk toast after an appearance on Fox News as he claimed that she deliberately reduced his polling numbers, knowing them to be incorrect. Well, let's go ahead and take the uh president at his words and have a listen to here, shall we? Kelly Matthews McEnany just gave the wrong poll numbers on Fox News. I'm 34 points up at the same this Not 25. Well, 25 is great, it's not 34. She knew the number. And the rhino globalists can't have her. Fox News should really use real stars. Like Tucker Carlson. I tend to agree. But ladies and gentlemen, this is what Donald Trump said about Kaylee. Now, where does the milk toast come from? Milk toast is, of course, a pejorative for bland or, um, you know, milky, right? Boring. Uh, Kaylee McEnany was being watched by Donald Trump, clearly, uh, when he sent out this Truth Social. Uh, and here's what she said. So what is the realistic alternative to this deal? Well, thanks, Kaylee. Uh, first of all, you know, the, everything that we're seeing out of the bill that was put forward, this this deal that's hatched this weekend, is pretty milk toast. If uh, if that word might mean something to you, but you know, frankly, uh, the I love watching <laughs> I love watching the news uh, parallel to Donald Trump. We flew on Trump's plane, and he had on Newsmax. Right, that's what he was watching at the time. And you could see he was like he was like watching it and like like gleaning information. And he was like this close. You're sitting with scant Dan Scavino, like is his he controls the guy's social media, and it's like you could see that like there the the information back and forth. That's where a lot of this stuff comes from. This is how Donald Trump gathers information and then sends it out to the world. So the the term milk toast was used, and then Kaylee McEnany. The, what drew Trump's ire was that Kaylee McEnany then used a poll that uh, Trump said was incorrect. Former President Donald Trump turned on his ex-press secretary, Kaylee McEnany, criticizing her on Truth Social on Tuesday night, accusing her of sharing an inaccurate poll number. Kaylee Milk Toast McEnany gave out the wrong poll numbers. The term Milk Toast describes someone who's bland. Former aide McEnany, he's 35, was the last person to serve as the role of White House press secretary for Trump's presidency. Uh, so there's the post. Here was Kaylee. And this is what a Milk Toast cartoon looks like. This is apparently some character named Milk Toast, which has uh, popularized the uh, the character. Here's a bunch of happy photos of uh, back in the day, Kaylee McEnany and Donald Trump out on the uh, out on the stump, out on the campaign trail. Kaylee McEnany chilling with Trump. This is a more recent photo of Donald Trump arriving in New York, and people uh, people be mad, man. People people be angry about this. Uh, on both sides, actually, there's some people we're going to do our best to demonstrate uh, both sides here, uh, ladies and gentlemen. You have obviously the Fox News side. A lot of people at Fox News are going to uh, like like come out raging hot in favor of Kaylee McEnany. Kaylee McEnany is one of the only voices defending Trump on CNN. When he ran in 16, I often disagreed with her. She was prepared, relentless, unafraid, heavily outnumbered. She then served Trump as spokesperson. Uh, she also likes DeSantis. Result. Kayla McEnany is from Tampa, by the way. Ron DeSantis is from really close to here. So I don't even, I don't know. I would assume they, their families know each other. 
Uh, Guy Benson's right. This is my favorite appearance for Kaylee McEnany on the CNN absolute slaughterhouse. To point out, though, that my colleagues on the left, their candidate, had Omar Mateen's father sitting behind him, who is pro-Taliban, who gave cover to al-Qaeda, and who was anti-gay, who has said that gays deserve to be punished. This is who Hillary Clinton had three rows behind her, and Sadiq Mateen says he was invited. You can choose to believe Hillary Clinton's team, who says he wasn't invited, or you can believe Sadiq, who says he was invited. Who knows the real story? We know 64% of people don't trust Hillary Clinton, but it is unfathomable that she had a pro-Taliban person, anti-gay father sitting behind her. First of all, the campaign and Secretary Clinton have fully disavowed this individual. And we trust and, her completely. Well, we sure as hell don't trust Donald Trump. So let's set that issue aside for a second. They've disavowed. And if you're trying to apply, there's some kind of collusion or something between Hillary Clinton and this man whose son massacred LGBT people. That is beyond offensive. So I don't know what you're implying. What? B, that he was not invited. C, Donald Trump is going tomorrow with Mark Rubio in Florida, not far from the Pulse nightclub, where 49 LGBT people were massacred to an oh, anti-gay no. organization event. So do not what? try to equate the mistake that was made by her campaign staff. And I agree it's with Tara. Breathy. Whoever was in charge of crowd last night should lose their May job. I ask you a and question? wait a minute. Wait a minute. No. You can't ask me a question. Because you can't answer the question. Oh, you can't what ask me a question, honey. I can't answer, so don't even answer. try. What attracted the father of the Orlando terrorist to your candidate? He's a mentally ill individual. Oh, that's what attracted president. him. I get it. <laughs> what attracted him to your candidate? And your answer was he's mentally ill. I have no, his mentor that he... Stop what? smiling and... <laughs> that body to put it is great. It's great. It's, it's great to tell. It's classic television. It's good. That's classic, good great television. CNN should do more of that. CNN's ratings went through the stratosphere when they had Donald Trump back on uh, a couple of weeks ago. So they should do more of that. That's great. That's fun. Come on, boxing gloves. Let's go. Kaylee McEnany was a, um, was, is a great defender of Donald Trump. Brian Kilmeade from Fox News attacking Kaylee McEnany. It's insane. She's one of the best press secretaries ever. Fantastic. But she's an analyst now. She doesn't work for any campaign. Kaylee's the best, says Miranda Devine, friend of our show. I'm sure Kaylee is a very nice person, but pretending like she isn't some interchangeable, glorified secretary is ridiculous. There are dozens of them on Fox alone. Says so Darren Beatty, also a friend of the show. Rick Grinnell, who is allied strongly with Donald Trump, worked for Donald Trump. With all due respect, Kaylee has been critical of Trump for a while now. She's grown more vocal with her attacks, which is her right. But... Why can she be disloyal and critical of Trump? But he can't. So that's uh, Rick Cornell holding the line. Imagine being so immature, says Britt Hume, as to attack your former press secretary, who's nothing if not loyal for allegedly misquoting a poll number. Britt Hume saying that. Cambry, an account that we follow and tweet a lot. Kaylee is one of the kind, uh, is the kindest person and was the best press secretary to ever step foot in the White House. Zero excuse for degrading or belittling her. I'm upset. I'm at a loss of words. And Cernovich, when Kaylee McEnany, press secretary under Trump, MAGA loved posting videos of her destroying the regime propagandist. Now she's milk toast. Christina Pushwa went from based to traitor. Garbage. Does you going along have no honor? Says Cerno. Also friend of the show. It should bother you that Kaylee McEnany is being dragged through the mud because Trump said something nasty about her. She didn't even criticize her, him. Now, I did do a little fact check, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is the poll that Kaylee is referring to. This is Donald Trump up 54. And now this is Donald Trump up, well, up 34 points and then up 25 points. This is the Iowa 2024 trends by Trump's pollster, McLaughlin and Associates. I, what do you want from me, man? That's the, them's the numbers. So his lead has shrunk in Iowa. All right. It's apparently according to his own pollster. So there you go. Trump never had a more competent, professional, classy defender than Kaylee McEnany uh, with this video. Let's watch. President denounced white supremacism and groups that espouse it in all their forms.
This has been answered yesterday by the president himself, the day before by the president himself on the debate stage. The president was asked this. He said, sure, three times. Yesterday, he was point blank, blank asked, do you uh, denounce white supremacy? And he said, I've always denounced any form of that. I can go back and read for you um, in August 2019 in one voice, our nation must condemn racism, bigotry, and white supremacy in August of 2017. It is really the record on this. It is really is mixed. It has conducted, it is not he's equivocated at times, he said he didn't want to acknowledge it or address it. His record is very mixed on this issue. His record is not mixed in the slightest. And when you go back in history, you can see that. History right here. When you go back in history, you can see that Jesse Jackson has praised the president as someone who served underserved communities. This president with Mar-a-Lago, it was the first Palm Beach club open to African-Americans and Jews. Um, and in fact, his record he, was, he, has he not been raised this threat all in this country. We're not having a debate on a case you're, of you're, you're Right now, you need to let he me condemns finish. it. I have his record right here. You need to let me finish. His record it's is mixed. quite funny that the media sure. goes haywire about interrupting in debates and then chooses to pursue that very same tactic themselves. This is a White House briefing. You ask a question and you give me time to answer. So weird. Okay, a couple of things that I take away here, and this is going to be me taking off my punditry hat and putting on sort of my personal hat. Uh, one, kind of wild to watch the madness that was the press corps. I mean, they were like rabid, ferile uh, 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 warthogs during the Donald Trump regime. And now they're cooing peaceful white doves. So bad. Ladies and gentlemen, amazing what they did to Kaylee. I like Kaylee McEnany. I think Kaylee McEnany did an amazing job. Um, it, I, I think I've seen the polls. I think that Kaylee McEnany actually said the polls right. I mean, Donald Trump still is up by 25 points. But I don't think that it's a great look to attack Kaylee. I mean, she's loved by the base. But, you know, what can you do? Politics is war. All's fair in love and war. And so I guess all's fair in politics. And so I haven't actually seen Kaylee being particularly uh, diminutive of Trump or like bad mouthing him. I don't I, you know, I, I don't think that's in her nature. I don't know her personally, like we don't chat or anything, um, but I, I know her work. I've, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've chilled with her backstage at like speaking events and stuff. She's a really nice person. I mean, as you could imagine. So what can I what can you say, man? That's 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 like my take on it. And I, she's beloved. Same with Sarah Sanders. They're like beloved by the base because of their defense of Donald Trump. And so I don't think it helps to attack them. But I present both sides. So what do you think? What do you think? Let me know in the comment section. Trump versus Kaylee. Uh, I don't think this will be the last time. Uh, that we have this kind of level of drama. But drama alert! Whoop, whoop! We'll keep you up to date. It's your boy Benny. Like, share, and subscribe. See ya.